So let us start our lecture. So what we have seen last time, last time uh, we have started uh, with node analysis, right? In node analysis, we have solved two types of problems. Type one is the voltage and resistance network is there. Voltage source is there and resistance network. Then next is if you are adding a current source in that, that is the type two problem. So if current sources are added in that, then in that particular branch, you need not have to calculate the value of current, right? So last time we were on this problem, we have solved this problem and it was asked to find current through 100 ohm resistance and we have simulated this, we have calculated it as 0.48 ampere and uh, simulation results we have got it as 480 milliampere. So correct result we have got. So let us start with the next numerical, next type is here. Node analysis with dependent sources. So instead of independent voltage and current sources, means not instead of along with. So voltage and current sources independent, they are present in the network. Resistances are present in the network. And along with that, if any dependent source is there, then that is the type 3 problem. So this is type 3 problem in which you can see there are this dependent uh, independent voltage source of 50 volt, this independent current source of 2 ampere with resistances and a dependent voltage source is there. This dependent voltage source, dependent sources are shown in the diamond block. So this is shown in diamond block. So it is a dependent source. And since polarity is given plus or minus, it is a voltage source. So it is dependent voltage source. And on what it is depending? It is the current dependent voltage source. Because it is depending on some constant into I1. So I1 is the current flowing through this 20 ohm or this branch current flowing is I1 and 20, 30 times of this I1 will be the voltage source available at this point. So how to tackle such problems? You have to go by your normal way. So let us say first we'll find out how many nodes are there in the network. So only one uh, node is possible because at this node, first node, this one branch, this second branch, this third branch, and this fourth branch. So all four branches, they are meeting at one node, that is one junction. And the reference node is this. So we have taken one non-reference junction and one reference junction. So the voltage at Non-reference junction is V1 and voltage at reference junction or reference node is as usual it is grounded or 0 volt. So now first of all you have to assume all the currents in one direction. So we are assuming it as a, the, all the currents are flowing away from the junction. So as they are flowing away from the junction this currents I1, I2, I3 and I4. I have assumed it, all the currents are flowing away from this junction 1. So applying KCL at junction 1, what will result? It will result 
summation of all the currents as they are in the same direction so summation of all the currents is equal to zero so sum uh, i1 plus i2 plus i3 plus i4 equal to zero now find out values of i1 i2 i3 i4 so how i1 to be found out i1 is v1 minus this 50 volt divided by 20 plus 10 30 so v1 minus 50 upon 30 will be value of i1 then for i2 it is v1 my plus this source because the polarity of this source is minus and plus current direction is this so current is entering in negative terminal of battery and leaving from positive so will it be indicated by a positive sign so v1 plus 30 i1 divided by 10 will be current i2 then how to find i3 i3 will be v1 minus 0 divided by 5 and no need to find i4 because i4 current source is given in that branch and it is 2 ampere current is flowing exactly in opposite direction that of i4 so i4 is equal to directly minus 2 so minus 2 equal to 0 so this is equation 1 in this equation now since the dependent source is there so for that dependent source it is depending on what factor that you have to find out first so the, uh, i1 is the factor 30 times i1 will be the this voltage source so you need to find what is the value of i1 in terms of v1 or node voltages so this value of i1 you have already found out i1 is equal to v1 minus 50 by 30 or you can find out from this v1 minus 50 by 30 so substitute the value of i1 as v1 minus 50 by 30 in this equation and this equation will be a equation in terms of v1 only then simplify that find out lcm so lcm is th coming out as 30 for this numerator you have to multiply by 1 for this numerator multiply by 3 for this numerator multiply by 6 for this multiply by 30 so it results v1 minus 50 plus 3 v1 plus 3 v1 minus 150 plus 6 v1 minus 60 Divided by 30 equal to zero. Take this 30 on that side. It will result to zero. So club all the terms of V1 together and constant on another side. So it results as 13 V1 equal to 260 volt. Find out value of V1 as 260 by 13. It is 20 volt. So node voltage V1 we have computed as 20 volt. Now what is asked? in the exam example find the voltage across 5 ohm resistor so you want to find voltage across this 5 ohm resistor so what you need to find first current flowing through this 5 ohm resistor and that is nothing but i3 so i3 is flowing through this 5 ohm resistor first find out value of i3 and then we want to find drop across this 5 ohm resistor and voltage drop you can find by i into r so i3 into 5 ohm will be the voltage across this 5 ohm resistor so voltage across 5 ohm resistor is i3 into 5 value of i3 you can find it from v1 minus 0 divided by 5 so v1 by 5 into 5 it is nothing but v1 that is 20 volts so voltage across 5 ohm resistor it will come as 20 volts okay then we'll move to next problem you understood this understood this problem yes sir okay so let us start another problem so for this network both the dependent sources are uh, present now one is voltage source another is current source this voltage source is a voltage dependent voltage source as it is 0.2 into vx okay and this is a 
current dependent current source it is 25 times i y so this is a current source depending on the current so this is current dependent current source this is a voltage source as polarity is given it is a voltage source and as current, uh, direction of arrow is given it is a current source so this is a current source this is a voltage source and on what factor it is depending it is depending on voltage so it is voltage dependent voltage source and this current source is depending on current so it is current dependent current source and as they are shown in diamond block both are the dependent sources okay now uh, first of all find out how many nodes are there in this so nodes are only one node so voltage is given as vx or you can assume it as v1 v1 is equal to vx is the voltage at junction 1 there is only one junction at which all the branches are meeting this 0.6 ampere 100 ohm then this 25 oiy then 50 ohm and this again 0.2 vx all uh, along with 40 ohm in series so all these branches are meeting only at junction 1 so there is one non reference junction and one reference junction so at reference junction voltage is as usual we are assuming it as a ground potential or zero volt and for non reference junction the voltage is v1 which is already given in your numerical as vx so instead of v1 we will assume it as vx so apply kcl at junction 1 so first you have to assume all the directions of currents they are moving away from the junction so first statement you have to write it as assuming all the directions of currents flowing in the junction they are flowing away from the junction so that is our assumption and you show all the currents in the branches so i1 i y is already given then i2 i3 i4 so all these currents directions whatever we have assumed either away from the junction or coming moving in the junction so that so after applying kcl at that junction we can write summation of all the currents equal to zero now our task is only to find values of currents so for value of i1 no need to find because it is a current source in that branch current source of 0.6 ampere is available in that branch and it is exactly opposite in direction of i1 so i1 value is minus 0.6 then value of i y that is vx minus 0 divided by 100 is the value of i y that is vx by 100 then this v1 in uh, sorry this i2 in this i2 branch also current source is there and the value of this current source is given as 25 iy and it is exactly in opposite direction of i2 so i2 is directly minus 25 iy then for i3 it is vx minus 0 divided by 50 so that is vx by 50 and i4 it is vx minus this voltage 0.2 vx divided by 40 so this is the current i4 so we have substituted all the values of currents and sum equal to 0 so let us say this is equation 1 now for dependent sources this is 25 iy and this is 0.2 vx so no need to find 0.2 vx because vx is already the junction voltage is vx and our equation is in terms of vx only so no need to find this value of vx uh, in terms of vx because vx is already known in terms of vx only so this iy you need to find in terms of vx so iy is current flowing through this 100 ohm branch how to find this iy iy is vx minus 0 divided by 100 or vx by 100 so value of iy is coming as vx by 100 now put this value of iy in equation 1 so that it will be only equation in terms of vx 
Now, take the LCM of this. It is coming out as 200. Then multiply this numerator by 200, this numerator by 2, this numerator by 2, this numerator by 4, this numerator by 5. And write all the terms divided by 200 equal to 0. Then this 200 you take on that side, it will result as 0. Then club all the terms of Vx together and constant on another side. So it results minus 40 Vx equal to 120. So Vx is directly minus 3 volt. And in problem, what was asked to find value of Vx? So we have got the value of Vx as minus 3 volts. So that's all. Now this was type 3 problem. So type 3 problem, it was consisting of the dependent sources, maybe voltage source, maybe current source, or maybe combination of these. So we are till this time we have seen three types of node analysis problems. One is uh, first one is the no, uh, network which is con consisting of only resistances and independent voltage sources. Then type two problem in that along with this voltage source and resistance in the network, current sources are added. So that is type 2 problem. And type 3 problem in which along with this voltage, current and resistance, along with this dependent voltage or current sources may be present. So that is type 3 problem. Now type 4 problem is the supernode. So what is supernode? Let us say these in this network, particular network, there are how many junctions? This one, two, and three. Three junctions are there. At this junction one, this 10 volt source, this two ohm resistor, and four ohm resistor are connected. At this source, uh, at this junction V2, this resistance, this resistance, and this voltage source is connected. At this particular junction, this resistance, this voltage source, and this junction, is, uh, this resistance is connected. So there are three non-reference junctions and one reference junction as usual, which is at zero volt. So the voltages at these nodes, they are V1, V2, and V3, let us say. These three junctions are there. Three voltages, we have assumed it. Then we have assumed all the directions of currents flowing away from these junctions, whatever that we have assumed. Now, if in that particular node, if you want to apply KCL at this node to say, let us say, you can find this current easily, this current easily, but how to find current through this branch? Because V2 and V3, these two potentials are known to you. So, Current through this branch, you can find only if the resistance of that branch is known to you, right? Because the voltage difference, you can take either V2 minus V3 divided by R or V3 minus V2 divided by R. That will be current flowing through this particular branch. But as the resistance value is not known to you, that means this voltage source and this voltage source or these two nodes, they are nothing but they are forming the super node. So this is a type of four problem, type four problem, which forms a super node. So super node means what? In two nodes, if a voltage source is present, only voltage source, if only voltage source is present, then that forms a super node. If along with this 5 volt, uh, 5 volt supply, let us say if a resistance is available here, if a resistance of let us say 10 ohm is available, then you can easily find out the current for, um, for this node. If you want to apply KVL for this node, K, uh, sorry, KCL for this node, then you can find it easily that V2 minus 5 volt minus V3 divided by this resistance of 10 ohm. Or if you want to find 
KCL at this particular node V3, then you could have found out the current flowing through this branch as V3 plus 5 volt minus V2 divided by this resistance of 10 ohm. So you were able to find out current if a resistance is given in the particular branch. But as for between these non-reference nodes, if any voltage source is present, so dependent, uh, sorry, independent voltage source is present, but no resistance is available, so that you cannot calculate current flowing through this branch, then this is the problem of supernova. Then, as similar to super mesh, in super mesh, how you have tackled the problem? We want, if there are two junctions or two meshes, you will require two equations because there are two unknowns. If two unknowns are there, you need two equations. So in super mesh analysis, what you have done? In super mesh analysis, you have calculated one equation from current source. That current source gives the one equation and second equation you can find out easily by applying KVL to the super mesh. Right? So in the same manner, you have to tackle this problem of super node. So in case of super node, in case of node analysis, we are dealing with current law of Kirchhoff. So Kirchhoff's current law. So that's why first one equation, you can get it in terms of voltages. So one equation, you can find it from V2 minus V3 equal to 5 volt, same as in Mesh analysis, you have found out the equation of current as the current source was common between two meshes. So I1 minus I2 or I2 minus I3 equal to that current value. So that you have found out from this. So similarly, you have to find a voltage equation. In that mesh analysis, you are finding out current equation. Here you have to find a voltage equation. So after finding voltage equation, this is one, then you have to, uh, you are applying um, um, su um, KVL for super mesh. So similarly, here you have to apply KCL at super node. So that means at this particular node, what are the other currents flowing? So these currents plus what are the currents flowing at this particular node? So you have to sum all these currents together. So this will give you another equation. So these two equations are there and two unknowns are there. You can easily calculate. Okay. So nodal analysis with voltage sources, it is referred as super node and a super node is formed by uh, enclosing a voltage source connected between two non-reference nodes. Okay. And how to find required two equations? One is to find through KCL of super node and another to find by the voltage equation. So we'll directly go to a problem. So determine the current in 5 ohm resistor for this network. So you want to find the current flowing through this 5 ohm resistor. Now, how many nodes are there in the circuit? This circuit is given. There are three nodes you can find. This is node 1, this is node 2, and this is node 3. At node 1, there are three junctions or three elements. This 10 ampere current source, this 3 ohm resistor, and this is one resistor. At this V2 junction, there are again three elements. And at V3 also, there are three elements. So three junctions are there in all in this uh, three non-reference junctions and one, refer uh, one reference junction. So let us assume the voltages at non-reference junctions are V1, V2 and V3. For this reference junction, the voltage is as usual, zero. Then assuming all the currents flowing at the junctions, they are in the outward direction. So the currents we are will assume first at junction 1, this I1, I2, I3 currents are flowing all three are moving away from the junction. For this junction 2, again three currents, I4, I5 
and this third is not present now because there is only a voltage source independent voltage source of 20 volt is available between this 2 and 3 junctions so that means you are unable to find current through this particular branch that's why this is a problem of super node right so for this super node um after all what we want we want three equations because three unknowns are there v1 v2 and v3 we want three equations now for first node there is no problem because first node is not a super node so you can apply kcl at node 1 so you will get one equation for node 2 and 3 you cannot apply kcl because both these 2 and 3 they are forming the super node so as v2 and v3 they are forming super node we want two equations so two equations will find out from the relation between v2 v3 and this voltage source of 20 volt so it is v2 minus v3 equal to 20 volt v2 minus v3 equal to 20 volt will be one equation from the voltage relation and the another equation you can get it from the kcl at this super node so in super node how you have to deal for this junction v2 there are two currents i4 i5 and for this third junction or v3 junction i6 and i7 these two currents are flowing so if you want to apply kcl at junction super junction or super node then it will be summation of i4 i5 i6 and i7 equal to 0 so this will give you third equation so you have got three equations three unknowns you can easily solve to find all the three unknowns okay so this is the overall procedure now let us apply kcl at junction 1 so if you have apply kcl at junction 1 it is i1 plus i2 plus i3 equal to 0 find out value of i1 no need to find as current source is there in that branch so i1 value it is equal to minus 10 ampere directly then i2 value you can find by v1 minus 0 divided by 3 that is v1 by 3 is the value of i2 and i3 it is v1 minus v2 upon 2 so v1 minus v2 upon 2 equal to 0 then again simplify this equation find out lcm it is coming out as 6 multiply this numerator by 6 multiply this numerator by 2 this numerator by 3 so that you will find minus 60 plus 2v1 plus 3v1 minus 3v2 equal to uh, divide by 6 equal to 0 take out this 6 on that side it will result to 0 and then for this you club all the terms of v1 together terms of v2 together and constants on other side let us say this is equation number 1 now for second equation we know that this is a super node nodes 2 and 3 are forming super node so you write nodes 2 and 3 are forming super node as there is why they are forming super node because there is no resistance between the nodes 2 and 3 and only a voltage source is present right so this is a super node example so therefore writing voltage equation for super node so right voltage equation v2 minus v3 equal to 20 volt will be let us say equation number 2 now apply kcl at super node so if you want to apply is kcl at super node i already told you it is sum of all currents i4 i5 i6 and i7 equal to 0 so i4 plus i5 plus i6 plus i7 equal to 0 is the kcl equation now the task is to find values of these currents so i4 you can find it from v2 minus v1 by 2 then i5 you can find by v2 minus 0 by 1 so that is v2 by 1 then i6 you can find by v3 minus 10 by 5 and this i7 you can find by v v3 minus 0 divided by 2 that is v3 by 2 so after this find out lcm it is coming out as 10 multiply this numerator by 5 this by 10 this by 2 this by 5 will result this equation 
club all the terms of v1 together v2 together v3 together and constants on another side let us say this is equation number 3 now you got three equations three unknowns you can solve these three equations for three unknowns using calculator to find v1 equal to 18.95 volts v2 equal to 11.58 volts and v3 equal to minus 8.4 volts now what is asked in the numerical it is asked to find current through 5 ohm resistor so current through 5 ohm resistor is nothing but your i6 and how to find the i6 it is v3 minus 10 divided by 5 v3 value we have computed it as minus 8.4 so minus 8.4 minus 10 divided by 5 it results as minus 3.68 amperes and the same circuit we have simulated and in simulation also we have found out all the node voltages they are coming out as on these voltmeters 18.9 18.95 so 947 means 95 then 11.579 so that is 11.58 and here it is minus 8.4 8.4 got it and we want to find current through this 5 ohm it is coming as minus 3.68 and exactly we have computed the c and for this uh, simulation i have given you this short link this so you can put this short link in your browser so that the same circuit will appear and you can study that so is it clear problem of super node is it clear to all yes ha ah, so uh, i think uh, uh, time what is the time whether we are running out of time yes 234 so we can take one problem so we'll complete this problem next problem of super node this is the problem given to you find out the board node voltages v1 v2 and v3 only node voltages you want to find v1 v2 and v3 you can find uh, you can see in this example directly that v2 and v3 between these two nodes only one 5 volt source is present so that means this is forming a super node right so you have to tackle this problem by super node analysis so first three junctions are there for all the junctions assuming all the currents are moving away from the nodes that is our first assumption you have to mention first and then apply kvl uh, kcl at junction 1 as it is not a super junction uh, it is not a super node so you apply simply kcl at this junction so that summation of i1 plus i2 plus i3 will be equal to zero now task is to find i1 i2 i3 i1 is no need to find as it is exactly opposite to 4 ampere so it is minus 4 ampere for i2 you can find v1 minus v2 upon 0.33 ohm then for i3 v1 minus v3 upon 0.5 ohm so these values you will put and then take lcm simplify so, uh, club all the terms of v1 together v2 together v3 together and constants on another side so that this will result you first equation it is coming out as 0.83 v1 minus 0.5 v2 minus 0.33 v3 equal to 0.66 now this second node and third node they are forming a super node so we want two equations for for, for this so how to find that now it will be v3 minus v2 equal to 5 volt because the direction of 5 volt polarity plus is towards v3 so v3 side is more so that means v3 minus v2 equal to 5 volt will be your one equation and another equation will be by summing all these currents so i4 plus i5 plus i6 plus i7 will be equal to 
zero. That is the KCL at supernova. Now find values of I four, I five, I six, and I seven. So I four is you can find it out as V two minus V one by point three three. Then I five is V two minus zero by point two. Then I six V three minus zero by one and I seven it is V three minus V one by point five. Substitute the values here. Then simplify. By taking LCM, taking it on that side, and then adding all the terms, clubbing all the terms of V1 together, V2 together, V3 together, and constants on another side. So it results as minus 0.166 V1 plus 0.265 V2 plus 0.099 V3 equal to zero. Let us say this is equation number three. Now you have got three equations with Three unknowns. So, solving these three equations, you can find v1, v2, and v3. v1 has 2.616, v2 has minus 0.167 volt, and v3 has 4.833 volts. Yes, we are not. I have not simulated this. Now, you can easily simulate this. You can simulate it and find out. Okay. Now. These four types we have seen. We have seen four types of problems. With first type as voltage source along with resistances. Second, adding a current source in that. Third, with dependent sources in that. And fourth is formation of supernova. Now there may be combination. So this is the problem which is having a combination. You will you can find. a voltage source is there independent voltage source independent current sources are there it is a forming a supernova here and it is having a dependent source also so there may be a type of problem which is combination of one or two or more than that so how to tackle these problems that we'll see in the next class so i think our time is uh, running out so let us stop here today i'll stop first recording and then